In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add your system I.O. website to Google Search Console. Hi and welcome to this channel. To begin, make sure you have uh, your blog website created already, which I believe you have. So you're going to click on blogs, then the particular blog website you want to add to Google Search Console. In my case, I have only one. So I'll click here and then these are the blog posts. Uh, that will be later that is when i'm done and i need to index all my blog posts then i'll come to this but to add your website click on pages and then click on home page we need this page and now i'll log in into my google search console so to begin click on start now all right so if you don't have your email addresses showing already just enter the email address that you want to use all right so um, I've entered the email address, then click next, enter the password. All right, so in case I have an account already, so it just locked me in. But in your case, if you don't have an account, you just have to follow the steps. It's just simple. And after you're gonna be logging, all right? So now I'm in, this is my website and I'll go in. So make sure you choose the right website. So in this case, I will select this one, which is the only website I have anyway on System.io. I have funnel pages, but that is different from blog website website or the traditional website my funnels this is different so let's go here so this is what you want google to index not your funnels i have to go in all right and go to pages these are the blogs and you can check them out so go back to find home page which is this one all right so look for home page and go all the way to the right and hover over the menu which is the three dots and click on edit so under edit go to settings and you scroll down and you click on edit header code don't forget this edit header code so click on it then go to google search console all right so now we need to add property in your case if this is your first time you will not have all these things here all right and you just have to add property all right so click on this so so far these are the two websites i have but in your case if you don't have anything you just have to add so it's gonna be just this add property this is the only thing that will show if you don't have an account so click add property all right so here you, you have two options you can add your domain which is all urls across all subdomains or url across https and http requires dns verification i don't want to go with this route go with this one which is the url prefix only urls under entered address only urls under protocol and allows multiple verification methods so I'll click on this and I'll go here. So this is my website. So double click this, highlight everything and right click, copy and go back to search console and drop it here, control V or right click to paste. And the forward slash, this one, you can take it off then click continue, all right? So you're gonna end up on verify ownership. That is why we open this page. So we will come back to this again. So let's go back. So you have options, the HTML file, you have the HTML tag and google analytics all right so i'm not going with this option this is good with uh wordpress and stuff like that like heavy html websites that you have to download and upload it there then save then after you come back here and verify but we are not in this tutorial i'm not gonna use it because i'm using website builder so i prefer this one html tag all right and i'll show you the reason why copy the meta tag below and paste it into your site's home page which is what we have this is the home page then click on settings here this is where you click your settings let's go back it should go in the header section before the first body section so let's go back so this is the header section so edit header code so go back and copy this copy to clipboard then go back here click on it and control v to paste it click here right click paste and save all right so it's safe and make sure you save it here again save now we have to go back to google search console go back here and click on verify good all right so ownership has been verified because this shows to google that this website is mine once i've been able to get into the settings part of this website so that means i have access to this website it's not like i copied the url from somewhere and i just drop it all right so let's go back and i'll click go to property all right so as you can tell it has changed to this you can tell from the first one i have my logos right but with this i have system io logos so we're done with it so let's go back 
this i'm done with it so i will just uh close it let's go to the website the settings done with that all right so under the home page i scroll down and let's say for instance this blog post i'll open in a new window double click and highlight everything copy and i'm gonna go to google search console all right so make sure you have your site here and underneath underneath uh go to url inspection click on it and paste it then enter see your url is not on google so you have to index it so to do that request index so this might take a minute or two but i know it's gonna be faster than that but regardless i'm gonna all right index is requested so got it now we're gonna have to we are on url inspection so i'm gonna go back close this right click this one and double click this is another tutorial uh, review Control c to copy sorry then click on here paste it enter same thing then you click on url is not on google so request index so requesting index for this as well submitting request all right so got it so indexing requested to say url was added to a priority so don't keep sending it please make sure when you create your pages you come to settings and come to hide from search engines and take this off almost all your pages unless you don't want it to appear on search engines like when you create courses and you don't want people to have access to it google will crawl it this will take time so you just have to be patient if there's a problem google will send you a message through the email address you use to sign in this is the end of the tutorial thanks for your time please don't forget to subscribe to this channel